Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the final episode of the, well I say for now anyway, the final episode for now, tutorial of Space Engineers and it's conveyors, connectors and whatever the rest of it says. So let's get to it! Uh, watch the video before, before tutorial? Nope, because it didn't want to work last time so I'm just not going to do that because I'm in a bit of a hurry anyway because I kind of already understand it. Uh, you guys better watch it yourselves though if you would want to. I would suggest it at least. I now have to wait a millennia before this loads. Hopefully it's going to load quickly because I haven't got very long before I have to go pick Cherry Dot up from work still. Ooh, it actually done it pretty quick. So, what are we at this time? Any things behind me? Nope, just the medical room. Okay, so reef on my left. Component storage, right. Connect arm to component storage. Transfer components to arms to arm storage. Disconnect and rotate arm. Let's turn the hub off for the moment. Rotate arm. Connect to station connector. Transfer components to welder storage. Turn welder on. Let it finish. Turn it off. Use button panel. Oh, okay kidding. Uh, right. So pistons and advanced rotors also work as conveyors. Allowing for more complex systems. Warning, do not activate piston or rotor when a connector is locked. Okay then. Uh, I assume I just go up and do this first. Okay, okay. I can do this. I need the hub on now. So lock connector on and off, right? Extend slash retract. That makes sense. And rotor transfer arm reverse. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so I need to extend. And then that connects to that. Yeah. And then I have to lock. And then I suppose I have to go in manually to do this? Do I? Uh, inventory. To hide the empty. Okay. Uh, find components here. Component storage. That's, that's okay. So where do I need to move it to? Oh, I need to... I need it to be... Yeah. Uh, component destination... Welder storage. Okay. Connector ejection arm. Do not unlock. <laughs> they're, they're doing very well there, aren't they? Right. So... What if I do... I can do that and then I can hide empty. Okay, right. Hide the empty. Find where it needs to go to. Connection to the component destination, and then I can find the components here, and then I can just easily do that. No? Uh, connect to rejection arm? No. Uh, station connect to component storage? Right, that's where they're supposed to be going. Right, okay. There we go. So that's one, and then I need to unlock, yes, did that unlock, yes, and then retract, and then rotate, I like these puzzles, these are these are the cool sort of things, this, this kind of thing, like connections and stuff, right, so then also extend again, so it connects to there. What's that say? Yeah. Anyway, so use the piston and connector to transfer components to the welder. Connectors also have a limited inventory space. Access the inventory screen by looking at a station terminal and pressing K, then scroll through the list of find and move the items. Items and faces can be moved remotely as long as they are connected. Uh, there is a long bar at the top of the inventory list with an X inside. This is the search bar. Type cargo names in here. Here to find the storage you need. Click the X to begin a new search. Fair enough. Uh, I need to lock first. Yes, I need to lock first. So lock, and, and then I need to transfer it to the destination. So let's uh, do that. So inventory, do that. Uh, hide the empty, and then that's the uranium component destination. To component destination world of storage. You're not working there. Um, where 
you meant to be going then? Station connector? No. Fighting components here? No. Connector, collector, arm, station, do not unlock? No. Where are you supposed to be going to? Connector eject? Uh, no, no. Collector storage? No. Connector arm there? No. Where can you go to? Transfer components here, arm storage. Arm storage? Connector components storage. Oh, I know what I've done. I know what I've done. They're in there still. Aren't they? Oop, I think I looked at the wrong thing. If I go into that and go to that, and then... Yeah, where are they? Click on that. I can still move them between that, because they're still in the wrong bit. Whoops, my bad. Okay, let's do that again. So, unlock. Retract. Rotate. And then... Start extending again. And... Lock. Because I don't think I put it into the right storage. So, inventory... Can I search with, like, brackets? Will that help me at all? If I put a bracket in it, will that help? Uh, I think that has helped. Component storage here. Transfer components here. Arm storage. There we go. That works. Right, so. Unlock. Retract. Rotate. And we're halfway through. And extend again. And then a lock. And then now I could do it better. Right. And let's go back to brackets again so I know where I'm going. Component destination. Where the storage? There we go. That works fine. Okay, so now that we're in here, I turn on this welder. Although I could just cheat and get them out there and weld it myself, although I don't have the tools, so that's probably why. Welder toggle block on, welder toggle block off. Or the other way around, I should say. So, press D for that, and it builds that up. Yep. And they tell you to turn it off, otherwise you'll die. Uh, load the welder with components, then turn it on. Welders are dangerous, do not approach the tip when the light is red. Press tab to show slash hide hub. You're telling me that now. So what's this do? That's, uh, hangar doors. Okay then. Don't know I need to do something that side? Do I need to do something that side? I don't know. I don't know. I hope, I hope this isn't the end. Um, what's this say? Ah, I see. This reactor requires uranium ingots to generate power. The door can be opened with when powered. And this looks like an awesome actual piston blast or door. I have to see what this comes out like. Okay, let's go. Come on, I'm running, I'm running. Let's hide the hub. So yeah, I need to get the uranium into that, so that's where this bit comes into it. Right, okay, let's go up and over and read from the beginning. Connector lights turn yellow when they are close enough to lock with other connectors. Lock them together to connect separate conveyor systems. I already kind of worked that out. Ejectors allow you to eject material from storage. Connect collectors allow you to catch material and put it, it through conveyor systems. Right, ejector arm. Uh, what am I supposed to be doing here anyway? Okay, just to do that. So, okay, use the button panel to control the collector arm and catch uranium from the ejectors. Rotate it back around to connect it to the station conveyor system and withdraw some ingots into your personnel storage via inventory screen. Okay, okay, okay. Right, so it's going to catch it from that side, so I need to rotate it first. Hub, lock connector, is it locked already? Nope, because it needs a piston. Oh, it has a couple of pistons on it first. Okay. Uh, that's a stand retract. That's fine. Ejects us on off and rotate the collector arm. So do that one first. Okay. And then once that's in position, it's clever that they got sister that got that to make sure it works. Okay, so then it's the ejectors on off. There we go. 
and drops uranium straight into them. Awesome. I don't know how much is in there. I don't know how much I should let it do. I'm sure it'll stop eventually. Can't be too much in there, I don't think. Maybe I shouldn't let it do it completely, otherwise it'll run out of power. Okay. That's probably plenty enough. Otherwise you might run out of power. Yeah, and you never know, because that might be the power source for here. I don't know if there was more than one lot of uranium. I can't remember. Let's have a look-see. I think there was. So there'll be now a small reactor, yeah, and then there's a large cargo container, uranium recycled. And then there's that in the ejector and stuff. And Okay, yeah, we're okay. So, uh, rotate. And then it'll be extend, retract. Like so, and then it'll be lock. Like so, and now I can grab it out of here. Oop, pressing E instead of W. How's my energy? Energy's perfectly fine. Do that, and open that. Uh, can that be the one I grab? Nope. Is that the one I can grab? Nope. That one? Nope. That one? Nope. That one? Yes. Can I grab it, please? Thank you. And I grabbed as much as I can. Okay, so let's go. I did take more than I needed. And we're going to walk on up, and we're going to chuck this lot in here. In we go. And now we can press the button, and I... Um, I want to see this. What, what's it do? Piston reverse. Push the button. What's it doing? Ah, I thought it was going to be even more like better than that, but it's still pretty awesome. Okay, so... Let's go into like that, and that's pretty cool. And that's the tutorial success again. It comes up with that done as well. Too many things. So that's all for the tutorials that they've got up for the moment. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please the video leave it a like, leave your comments below, subscribe if you're not already, share with your friends, and I will see you whenever the next one comes out or in a different video. So bye for now, guys.